Right. Who are you? My name's Kicker, and I retired out of the Marine Corps four years ago, and this is what I do. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit, but I'm retired out of North Carolina. What are you out doing this Labor Day weekend? Going home, waiting for that tropical storm to get out of the way so I can drive at, drive home. What's up with all the Fago, man? I only get it once a year. <laughs> you know, this is the second time I've seen a, a, a Corvette kind of rat style. Well, is this a new trend? It might be. Roadkill did one, and uh, it just makes sense. <laughs> I love it. Man, look at all. What, are you using that Fago for counterweight or something, or what? Yeah, kind of ballast. Doesn't have enough centrifugal force in the mountains to keep you in the turn, so. No, nah, but I only make it up to Michigan once a year, so. So I, I gotta get it, you know? Gotta have, have enough to last me at least a couple of weeks. Four months. Yeah. That is great. I, like, I love it. So. I did, the, I did this car for 1800 bucks. Everything I had laying around the shop, but the clutch and the battery. Always got to have a new battery going on, uh, going on the road. It was an automatic car, so it has a 276 rear end gear. I fabricated a T5 transmission mount to go in the C channel. It's a 98 Tahoe truck mo motor with a stock iron intake and a Rochester carburetor off an old school 427. And it hauls ass. Now you got some Cherokee stuff on here too? Oh yeah, so it's got a YJ bumper, Rio Grande edition seats, Cherokee pedals. It's got a 69 Camaro bell crank in it because it was an automatic car and it was the easiest way to put a, put a clutch in it. Stock tires. It does pretty good. 